Besides eating cereal with water what is the most outrageous eating sin you have ever witnessed? The wife dips Aureus in water like a psychopath. When I visited my aunt's family as a kid she served a purple cow milk mixed with grape juice for breakfast. If you haven't tasted that, take my word for it it's not a great concoction. In elementary school, we used to mix the milk and juice the school gave us for breakfast to puke and get sent home early apple juice and milk usually worked the best. I think grape juice and milk was a close second. Kids are so effing genius in the absolute most moronic ways. That's so goddamn funny, you goddamn genius. I work at a pub restaurant waiting tables. This couple walks in who I've never seen but are apparently regulars. The bartender sees them, shoots me a glance, and goes to grab something from the kitchen. Before even taking their order, he's filled the crushed red pepper shaker and told me to take it over to them. The woman orders a small cup of French onion soup and proceeds to unscrew the cap of this shaker and dump the entirety of it onto her soup, an inch high off the top of her bowl. She's eating this spicy red pepper like cereal and didn't even ask for a drink refill. She must be dead inside and desperately trying to feel something. I was hoping a doctor would show up and say it was likely because she has X disease that destroys her ability to taste anything that isn't crazy spicy. I used to work as a bartender. One day, a middle-aged man walked in and ordered a beer with milk. Me. Excuse me? You want the milk in the same glass as the beer? Customer. Correct. So I poured him the beer and added milk in the same glass. It looked disgusting to me. I gave him the drink. He paid for it. Happily drank his beer milk and left. Why did I read this thread? What the f? I had a friend who went through a period where cake decorating was her hobby, and she made some amazing looking cakes that all tasted horrible because of the bizarre flavor combinations. It was always a bit funny because people would compliment the look of them and then have to figure out how to throw their pieces away without being rude about it. The worst one was a Christmas cake with an immaculate looking fondant Rudolph the red nosed reindeer that was an orange spice cake covered in mint icing. It was like brushing your teeth and rinsing with orange juice in cake form. I remember when I was in high school. Crest had an orange mint flavored toothpaste. No clue what they were thinking. Please tell me that someone finally told her that less is more when it comes to flavor. When I was in grade school I went over to this kid's house to play. Then ended up staying for dinner. We had spaghetti, some vegetable, maybe salad and something else. His entire family would mix everything together before eating it. His dad seemed to be the ringleader mastermind behind this scheme. I remember someone cheerfully saying, well, it all goes to the same place, and then the rest of them agreeing with this truism as if it were some serious folk wisdom. That's some serial killer sh right there. I used to be obsessed with A1. I would put it on everything possible because I loved it so much. One day I put it on Jello. I no longer enjoy A1. What's A1? A steak sauce. My sister would make Ritz cracker sandwiches, except the thing that went between the two Ritz cracker buns was another Ritz cracker, except chewed up and spit out. It was disgusting. I wasn't going to tell this story but here I am. As a kid I would eat a whole bag of Doritos without swallowing, and then I'd spit out the pulverized chip dust and saliva mixture and roll it into a ball with my hands and then let it harden a bit in my desk at school between first and second break and then eat it again during lunch when the outside was a bit crunchy again but the inside was still moist and the consistency of a chocolate truffle. No, I have to leave this thread. Did you have friends? First thing in this thread that actually made me want to die a little bit. Bravo, oh boy this, but with cheese its I've thought about that time in my childhood many times since, but this is the first time I've really understood how effing vile it was. A ketchup brownie, my cousin, this son of a bee, I hope he's arrested. When I was a server, I had a customer dip her bread in a glass of coke, she finished her whole bread basket and coke and asked for another basket and another refill of coke, and went to town again for round two. She didn't give a crap how she looked and ate that sh like it was the best thing on earth. You know I have soft teeth. How could you say that? My mom puts peanut butter on cold pizza. It is the closest flavor to vomit that is not vomit. You've got to add orange juice for that authentic vomit flavor. This thought actually made me nauseous. A plus. Could only be worse with mint. My wife dips PBJs into spaghettius. You'll be a father soon. Oh spaghettius. 
a watermelon and ketchup sandwich, I call it a sandwich because it makes me sad, is the watermelon the bun, or does this monstrosity desecrate bread, too, clearly the ketchup is the bun. Mom's boyfriend, crushed cheese it crackers into his coffee, that day he ate waffles covered in spinach and fish sticks drizzled with syrup, all the while loudly smacking his lips say no are so good, mom says don't let it bother me, it bothers me. How the F is it supposed to not bother you? He's literally Satan. Mr. Don Cheesecake. That is a waste of cheesecake. Dude in my dining hall had a plate of sunny side up eggs. Scooped under an egg with his fork. Brought it up to his mouth. And only touched his lips to the yolk. Proceeded to suck all the yolk. And then slurp the rest of the egg in. It was like a car crash. I couldn't look away but I was horrified. I feel like I was there. I was zeroly able to vividly imagine this nonsense. I can't even hear it. Horrifying. This reminds me of an experience my friend had. She was studying Chinese and went to live in a smallish town in China for a bit. She is tall, white, blonde, blue eyes etc. Because she stood out so much, and is a very friendly, sociable person, she became somewhat of a town celebrity, as such. Some restaurant owners decided to open the first westerner style food place ever in the town and named it after her. On the opening night, she was sat around a big table with lots of local people excited to try the food. I can't remember exactly what was on the plate, but I know she said there was plain pasta, no sauce or anything, and a fried egg, but everyone had chopsticks. So as the restaurant owner said a little speech, and then asked them all to start. She said every single person around the table poked a hole in the yolk of the egg with their chopsticks, then lowered their faces to the egg and just sucked up the yolk. The thought of that has always made me laugh. Can't forget the ritualistic yolk sucking. My baby sister used to eat pancakes and ranch. My mom just accepted it because she was such a picky eater and this was something she just thoroughly enjoyed. We're pretty sure it's cause my mom craved both when she was pregnant with her. We're pretty sure it's cause my mom craved both when she was pregnant with her. Or vice versa. My sister used to put ketchup on strawberries. This is why she had to be disappeared, isn't it? Dipping Aureus in orange juice. That just made me cringe. Poor, poor Aureus. Poor Aureus. Fried eggs with chocolate melted on the yolk. How the Cadbury egg was born. F this thread. This is the one. This is the one that made me close the thread in disgust. I came back simply to agree and try to not vomit. For some reason that doesn't disgust me. My wife likes crunchy peanut butter and bologna sandwiches with cheese. Her mom also has mayo. I just can't bring myself to try it literally start retching at the thought of the flavor. Went to college with this one girl who would get a chef salad. Slice up banana and put it on said chef salad. Then use ketchup as dressing. I should not this person ate that on a regular basis. I was maybe gonna be okay with just bananas on a salad putting fruit. Especially stuff like strawberries on a salad is fine. But ketchup you. My dad's girlfriend puts cucumber in any hot dish she can. Green chili. Chicken soup. Taco meat sky's the limit. She also doesn't believe in draining noodles and will let them sit in hot water until each strand of bloated spaghetti is as thick as a goddamn shoelace. I don't eat there anymore. If you ever eat hot food, cucumber is a good side dish to wash the mouth. You shouldn't dip it though. Side dish. Yes. Great in nice water. Grated and boiled in a steaming pot of pork pozole rojo. Not so much. I want to downvote this so hard because the noodles have triggered me. When I was in the 6th grade, my teacher wanted to make us lunch before going into Christmas break. Ramen noodles. Cool. I'm half Japanese and many of the kids in my class were varying degrees of Asian. So it sounded like a good idea and we were all on board with it. She broke up a bunch of marriage and chicken ramen packets and put that shin a crock pot for like 3 hours. It. Was. Disgusting. I cannot describe to you how difficult it was for me to choke down the salty slime jelly that she dished out to us. I ate my portion because I didn't want to be rude. But wow. Wow, that was hard, and I'm getting queasy thinking about it. Why? Why did she cook it for 3 hours? Ramen packets take 3 minutes tops. Cucumbers are a delicious and versatile vegetable, and go with a surprising amount of foods. But bloated pasta? That's a capital offense. To be fair, the best buffalo chicken pizza I ever ate had cucumbers on it. I can't tell you what made it so good, but the cucumbers went really well with it. 
Cucumber and jalapeno together is a bomb combo. Sora dude eat spaghetti and milk one time. One very dark time. Like with spaghetti sauce. Because plain noodles and milk sounds like something my grandpa used to eat. Except he used egg noodles. And it was a dish essentially brought on by the Great Depression. He would eat it when he missed his dad but didn't want to talk about it. My grandma would eat milk toast just what it sounds like. Milk poured over toasted bread. When she didn't feel good. Or throw back to the Great Depression and when she got typhoid fever. AWW. It's actually a thing in certain places in Europe. The kindergarten I went to serve milk with sugar and different pastas rice as a second breakfast almost every day. Most of them were as disgusting as they sound but for some reason I kinda enjoyed the spaghetti one. Would not go anywhere near it now though. Yuck. My mom made milk and sugar rice all the time. Cook rice the way it's supposed to be cooked. When it soaks up most of the water, add some milk. When that is mostly soaked up add some sugar. Pairs well with sausage and salmon cakes. Made it for my fee and K. He said it was essentially a less sweet rice pudding and seemed to enjoy it. My sisters and I all request it with a meal when visiting. Catch up on sushi. Shivers. I've been at a sushi place and heard the people in the booth behind me ask for ketchup. I can only hope it was for something else and not the sushi itself. Something else like the ginger? Recoils in disgust. I remember one of my friends put ketchup on his carne asada tacos. I was just an absolutely disgust. Yo well if you are seeing this. What the f man. Ketchup on pancakes. One time. A long time ago. I ate Lucky Charms with Guinness as a St. Patrick's Day bastardization. I would not recommend. I think Stephen Colbert or some comedian did it as a joke and I was curious. I would also not recommend. Colbert ate Lucky Charms and Baileys with Tom Hanks. Only remember the exact details because that's a really fun sentence to type. The guy on 4chan who fermented a bottle of his own semen into liquor. I'm sorry what? 4chan. There is no understanding it. Except the chaos. Yeah excuse me what the f. The fact there is no link to this is as abhorrent as the concept itself. That's on a completely different level to everything here. But hey, that's 4chan as a whole. I knew a guy who would bite in two hot pockets in the middle, holding each end. WTF man. You ever realize when you microwave something the edges are super hot and the middle should be just right? He's letting the atomic parts cool off while he eats the best bits right away. Cut it in half why don't ya? Mixing ketchup with soda. Granted we were trying to gross each other out, but still. It was an act of culinary violence unlike anything else I've ever seen. A couple of years ago when my best friend and I were still in college, she stayed over at mine a few times. It was then that I learned that she liked dipping cheese into hot chocolate, like, full on dunking it in, waiting for it to partially melt, swelling it around and then eating it. I love her to bits. She's like my kid sister, but I still haven't entirely recovered. Is she from South America? This is popular in Colombia as long as you have the right kind of cheese. My husband's Colombian and talks about this sometimes. He wants me to try it but he's had a difficult time finding the right cheese here. Philadelphia cream cheese. Put a chunk in the mug and pour the hot chocolate over it. My hubby is Puerto Rican. Before we were officially engaged he took me back home to meet his family where they introduced me to hot chocolate with a piece of cheese placed at the bottom of your mug once you've finished drinking your hot chocolate you slurp the melted cheese. In my efforts to make a good impression and meeting my future in-laws for the first time I put my game face on and attempted it. And it was actually delicious. It's the bomb but it has to be with Quizo di Bola Rodi Papa. Greetings from PR. My roommate's mom eats peanut butter and onion sandwiches. This is my own confession. I really love to eat lemons. Not in wedges or squeezed on things, but in the way you would eat an orange or a clementine. By peeling it and eating the whole thing. For some reason sourness is just the best to me. I'm a person of many weird food preferences but this is the one that causes witnesses to cringe the most. How's the enamel on your teeth toy? Whenever I eat straight lemons with salt, or sip on diluted red wine vinegar, I always keep some water nearby to swish my mouth with to minimize the acid, and use some mouthwash not too long after if I can. Basically the same precautions you should take if you smoke a pipe or do anything that fills your mouth with sh that's bad for it. I don't f with sodas or almost any processed sugar, either. Which helps. But pro tip to anybody else out there who loves super sour sh like this. Do not brush your teeth soon after eating them.
It may seem intuitive to brush off the acid and replace it with fluoride, but your teeth are super vulnerable after being exposed to high levels of acidity, and the best thing you can do is use mouthwash instead. Eat cereal with orange juice instead of milk, apparently when my uncle was little. He was lactose intolerant of course in those days, nobody knew that lactose intolerance was even a thing. He used to eat his cereal with juice, because the vomit chess after having milk just weren't worth it. I've seen apple juice before with elderly depression era people, but it was bland a cereal and that just sweetened it. When I was a kid, we ran out of milk while camping and my mom put the juice from a can of peaches on my cereal, probably frosted mini wheats. It was disgusting. Unrelatedly, I hope, I got a stomach bug that same day and spent the whole day barfing. To this day, just thinking about fruit juice and cereal makes me a little nauseous. Kid I used to know in school used to rip open his milk carton, and dip his burrito into the chocolate milk. Sometimes he'd even go so far as to rip open the burrito and pour his milk onto the beef and eggs too. I'm quoting him here, creamify the meat, I don't know man, but the word creamify is just dug. Creamify is a gross word by itself. Using it to describe meat is something else entirely. How do you think they make milk steak? My friend ran out of milk so she thought she could possibly use coffee creamer instead. But did it work? Nope it was disgusting. She said it was so grossly sweet and the viscosity made it worse. I live with someone who lives to eat food sins. Do you really think water with cereal is bad? Boy, the thing I would consider the least of eating since would be when she microwaved a refine pickle with cheese on it, then dipped in effing ice cream. I can't stand to sit in the kitchen when she's in there because of the she made. If anyone is interested, I'll provide more horrid creations she made and ate. But all you really need to know is that effine pickle. Please, by all means, tell us more. I'm legit curious. A friend of mine once ate peanut butter with his hands out of the jar in the backseat of my car on a 10 hour drive. I also saw him make a salad by peeling lettuce off a head of lettuce he pulled from his backpack and hand tearing red peppers up, while standing next to a knife rack, then eating it without any dressing. He's basically a Nick Cave man. A former friend of mine once poured a can of Coors Light into a bowl of Cheerios. He called it Beerus. We convinced a mate to have gin on wheat bix for breakfast once. That makes me feel ill. How many was he able to do? He said besides cereal and water. Well that's the newest form of alcoholism I've seen. One time my wife called me from the liquor store asking if we needed anything. I said we were nearly out of Irish cream. She came home with a 1.75 liters of street brandons when I usually get a 375 milliliters for a year. It had been on sale. Had no idea what to do w it all but on a day off I decided to try some in my cereal. Turns out alcohol dissolves Lucky Charms marshmallows. No not new. True classic. I used to eat blueberries with ketchup on them because I like the texture. My whole sibling group eats tomatoes and peeled oranges clementines like a normal person would eat an apple. But the worst I've ever seen is a guy in my class take a cheese and sauce filled roll type thing. Rip a hole in the bottom and suck it dry. In a restaurant with other people. Another time. My little sister. She was a tiny kid at the time. Got gulab jamun at an Indian buffet. They're like milky donut holes soaked in watery sugary syrup. She leaned over the table and vacuumed them up off the plate so she didn't get her hands sticky. Technically, a tomato is a fruit. I also do this sometime. Fresh from the garden. Drinking ranch straight out if the bottle. Buzz me bretendo. My friend was eating salad with his hands at a restaurant. He's not my friend anymore. This happened to me. I took my friend out to a Greek restaurant because she was going to be going to Greece the following week. The waitress brought us salad and no cutlery. We decided it must be some Greek tradition to eat salad with your hands. The waitress came back to check on us and we asked about cutlery. She saw the little divots we had put in our salads, turned on her heel, and made a beeline to get the cutlery she forgot. Well, when in Athens, umfeo I do the same thing. I don't like shove handfuls of salad in my mouth, but I eat the pieces of lettuce like they are chips. No dressing or anything. Just like dry spinach or lettuce lol. Am I a monster? Should have used salad gloves. It's not terribly often I run into an AJJ reference in the wild. My friend dips her pizza on coke. Mr. Dumb waffles. I was a weird kid. 
I worked in a restaurant that served authentic imported Kobe beef, I had someone order a 16 ounce Kobe filet mignon, well done, the chef nearly cried and definitely threw things, if I recall correctly, he ended up having to put that $200 steak into the microwave to get it to cook all the way through to well without burning the outside to charcoal, the guest was pleased and his date looked horrified, good thing it wasn't a sendai, I thought Kobe Wajio is the alpha of all the beef, until I met a $2000 piece of sendai beef on a Japanese thrift store, I wonder who should I throw under the bus to have a bite on that. My cousin put salt in her cereal one time, she puked like 5 minutes after. As a kid, we heard about cheeseburger pizza, pizza but with ketchup and mustard instead of tomato sauce. American cheese instead of mozzarella, and hamburger meat on top, so, we tried it, you wouldn't think it would be that different, the ingredients are the same as an actual hamburger, except pizza dough is actually very different from the bread of a hamburger bun, it's kind of sweeter and fluffier, and really soaks in the ketchup and mustard to an absolutely disgusting degree, it's awful, I know a pizza joint that makes those, they are actually pretty good, in that the restaurant knows it's a damn pizza, a go marinara and mozzarella, then and only then, hamburger, a little mustard, that stuff's easy to overdo, pickles, onions, and bacon, it's a pizza, but it's still reminiscent of a hamburger the mustard really sells that, I think you also have to pre-cook the hamburger, or at least use lean, in China I was once served a Big Mac pizza Russian dressing instead of sauce, little meatballs, pickles, cheese it was honestly pretty damn delicious. Apple slices dipped in mustard. It was hard to watch. Well I just saw that Heinz mayonnaise has come out with a Cadbury eggs mayonnaise and I'm really concerned for the people who eat that abomination. This one guy had taken hummus and dipped his effing popped it all in it and ate it. From the last time this was asked, 30 year old McAllen mixed with diet coke. Probably the same guy who got the well done Kobe. Can we stop putting ketchup on literally everything? I went on a double date to a fancy restaurant with a friend once. His GF got a $60 pork chop and asked for ketchup. The staff weren't even sure they had any, but found some in the back that they saved for the kids meals. She only ate half of the chop because she wouldn't eat any of the pieces with char on them. She dumped ketchup all over the whole thing, even the parts she wouldn't eat. So what he took home was soaked in ketchup. Dude broke up with her shortly after. The F is a $60 pork chop. God damn. Personally, I like to squirt a little Capri Sun into my ramen. 